Hello everybody and welcome to Clear Path Guidance in Tarot. All right, video number three, same shirt. <laughs> so, um, okay, I had another, another request um, for Josephine Langford and Hero Fines. Um, these two have done a movie together. That's all I know. That is all I know. I did look up their birth dates. He is a Scorpio. She's August 18th. If I'm not mistaken, that's a Leo. All right, she's on the cusp. She could be... Um, when does it end? The 20th. She could easily be a Virgo, but she would be, she, August 18th is actual Leo. All right. So these two, I don't know if people think that there's something going on with these two. I don't think there is. I don't feel any, um, uh, chemistry between them. I feel like if they've done a movie, they probably did a good job on the movie. Maybe that they did, like they acted really well. Um, but I get these two people connect on a level of understanding each other. You know, um, I think they're pretty young. So it's like, uh, I don't know how many movies these people, have, these two kids have done together. I feel like they're just kids. I don't know how old they are. I did look up their, their I didn't look up their year. Hold on here. 97. Okay, they're both the same age. She was born August 18th, 1997. She, he was born November 6th, 1997. So they are both um, 20 years old. So they're young. All right. So um, I just feel like they're there for support for each other. They become good friends. Um, and out of this friendship, I don't know if people think that there's something that more is going to go on between them. I don't think it is. It's just a movie that they did together. Um, they probably did a good job acting. I don't know. I, I, again, I don't know what the movie's about. I don't know if it's boyfriend and girlfriend or whatever the case is here. Um, but I just get this working together, having a good friendship, getting close in friendship because they understand each other. Um, it's kind of like, um, like I think people want the same thing to be like Lady Gaga and Bradley Cooper, right? But I don't, I don't feel that this, this is that kind of a um, connection. It's just that they both were on the movie set. They got close. They became good friends. They're supportive of each other. That's it. That's all. It's going to be a short reading. I don't feel there's anything going on between these two other than being co-workers or what do you want to call it? Um, Co-stars on a movie together. Uh, I, just, I just get that they're very supportive of each other. You know, um, he understands what she's going through and she understands what he's going through. Uh, supportive. Friends. That's about it. I don't get anything else. Um, when I think about Josephine thinking about Hero, I, I, I get nothing. I don't get nothing at all. Um, when I think about him thinking about her, same thing. Nothing but supportive friends. Something that they had in common was making this movie and becoming friends from it. Okay, I I, I don't know. There's nothing nothing else I can I can pick up with these two. Not much of a reading. I'm sorry. All right, let's see what uh, let's see what comes up with the cards. I'll ask some questions here. What does Hero feel for Josephine? What does Hero feel for Josephine? All right, what does Hero feel for Josephine? So what does Hero feel for Josephine? There's the Fool. And the Fool talks about um, beginnings here. New beginnings. Um, they both were in a movie. I feel that this is, they both took that leap of faith. And um, they had that new beginning of the movie together. All right. What does he feel for her? There is friendship. A great relationship. The Ten of Cups is about 
love and support. I do feel that there's love and support here. Usually this is a marriage card of having been, you know, someone who's happily married. All right, someone who's happily married, they have children, end of the rainbow, everything is going good. It says also about support and love. I believe that they're very supportive of each other. All right. And then we have the hangman and that's where it at. That's where it's at. All right. The hangman um, usually talks about um, wisdom, uh, self-sacrifice. It's about um, like there's, it's, this is not an action card. All right. What does he feel for her? Just where it's at. And that's where it's going to stay. You know, very supportive. Friendship. All right. Okay. What does Josephine feel for hero? What does Josephine feel for hero? What does Josephine feel for hero? All right, so what does Josephine feel for hero? There's the sun, and this is about happiness, joy. All right. I feel she's happy when she's around him. There's joy. They get along great. Very supportive. Same sort of a thing. Joyous outcome between the two of them. Doesn't mean it has to be marriage, but just a joyous friendship. Good outcome. What does she feel for him? There's the Queen of Swords. She feels that he could be truthful and protective. The Queen of Swords is a woman who is very logical, self-sufficient. She's truth-telling. Even though he's a male, she does feel he's Truth telling, um, logical, self sufficient, he and protective. I feel he can be protective of her. All right, and that's what she feels for him, or she could be protective of him. All right, and Queen of Pentacles, what does she feel for him? So, this is somebody who wants to be there and be steady. So, the Queen of Pentacles is a resourceful woman. And uh, so what did she feel for him? I feel that she would be there for him to um, be um, dependable, reliable, patient. Okay. Let's see the messages between the two of them. What are the messages regarding Hero and Josephine? Hero and Josephine. What are the messages regarding Hero and Josephine? Hero and Josephine. Hero and Josephine. Hero and Josephine. Hero and Josephine. All right, so messages between Hero and, and Josephine. We have the Temperance card, which is about balance, harmony, self-control, moderation. All right, these two aren't jumping feet first into anything. This is just a, a nice, well-balanced, moderate, harmonious relationship um, that there's self-control and moderation here. Then we have the Nine of Wands, and this is about a test of courage. It's persistence and boundaries. They'll keep push, pushing forward, being friends, all right? They, they keep um, uh, persisting with it, okay? I don't believe this relationship will end because there's the sun again. It's a good outcome between the two of them. Happiness, all right? Supportive, joy, all right? Okay, um... That's it. I don't have a whole lot to say about these two because I really just feel that they're friends. I don't get any other vibe from them. Um, they click. They click. It's because it's like, you know, when you go, how am I going? How should I explain this? Um, it's like you, you spend two weeks with somebody, some random person, and you get along. And during that two weeks, you go through a course together. Or even a month, you take you take a two month course with somebody, and you go through it with them. At the end of it, you're friends and you're supportive, and you got to know each other really, really well. Same thing. I don't know how long it takes to make a movie, but it's the same sort of idea. 
Both of them went through this together um, and they were supportive, got to know each other really well. So I believe they will still stay friends afterwards. It's that same sort of a bond. You just make this bond with somebody, right? When you've worked with them for so long. So, all right, everyone, if anybody's interested in getting a private reading, email me and I will send you the details on how to get one. All right. Thanks again. Bye-bye.